Hi, my name is Jackie Talbert, and this is Franklin Boulevard Media. I grew up right here in Gastonia from Bradford Heights. I've been living here all my life, 56 years. I found out that I had breast cancer at the end of 2012. Um, I went to my routine mammograms, and I always went as scheduled. But I knew there was a knot there. But because I was having the mammograms, I didn't think anything, you know, was wrong or anything. I thought maybe it was just a, a cyst or something like that because the mammograms always read that everything was good. So I went back to the doctor for routine checkups. And so I asked my doctor at the time if she could feel the knot that was over there. And she said, yes. And when she touched it, she said, there's definitely something there. So she ordered biopsy and an ultrasound the same day. And then I had to wait like three days later for the results. And so when the results came back, you know, usually they send them to you in the mail. So I didn't get anything in the mail. I called and I said, I want to know what my results are because the technician, the radiology technician, she told me there was definitely something there as well. So they told me that everything was fine. And I said, well, I want to come out and get a printout, you know, of the, the test results. And they gave me the printout. It said everything was fine. So I waited like maybe three months later. There was a lady on my job and she had went and got her routine, you know, mammogram and they told her to come back because there was something there. And so during that time I asked her, I said, Phil is not right here. So she felt mine. She said, oh, you better go back and get that check. She said, something is there. I said, you know, still didn't think nothing about it because of the results that they gave me, that everything was fine. So when I went back and my doctor at the time, she told me that, yes, there was something there. And about three days later, she called me on my job and asked me if I could come in. And I told her yes. And she asked me, had I heard from radiology? I said, no. She said, well, I have. And she looked at me and she said, you have breast cancer. And at that time, she asked me, how did I feel? And I told her, I don't know. I was just, you know, in a blank state, didn't know what to say. So my journey began immediately because they told me it was fast growing. And the next day, I was in the office, they, in the um, chemotherapy office. They started making appointments the day that I was in her office. So the next day I was in there getting chemo through my vein and my arm because they hadn't put a port in. And they said I needed to, you know, jump on it quickly because it was aggressive. When I went back to her office for the results when she told me I had breast cancer, my other doctor, he came in, which was my normal doctor. He was out the day that I went, so she the one gave me the results. He came in, and he had tears in his eyes, and he looked at me. He said, Jackie, he said, this shouldn't be happening to you because you always have your routine scheduled mammograms. And when I seen his eyes full of tears, the, it was like the whole staff came in the office, you know, and everybody was hugging me and everything and encouraging me saying that I was gonna get through it. And which I did, cause I'm here today. And um, I went, I'd had the, the harshest chemo cocktail that you could have to, you know, to fight the cancer. And um, I didn't go through a whole lot of the things that they said I would, thank God. And I wanna say that God was with me on this journey. I can't leave him out because it was definitely him. Um, because, like I said, the knot had been there. It was like for years. But, like I said, I didn't think anything was there. So, to say, I would tell every woman, you know, to do your self-exams, no matter what the technicians say, x-rays say, make sure you know your own body. Make sure you, you feel, you know, just thoroughly check yourself. And... If you have any concerns, be persistent. Keep going until you get some results because it's your life, you know. And my doctor, one thing my doctor told me, he said, Jackie, he said, I'm going to tell you this. He said, I would suggest that you get a double mastectomy 
because if you don't, you're going to be back here two years later with it in the other breast. So that's the route I took. I took the double mastectomy and the tram flap surgery, which took six and a half hours. Um, it was like I said, God was in this thing with me because the walk, the journey was not as hard as, you know, they told me it would be because my situation was bad. But again, God walked me through this thing with ease. He had everything lined up, the people that took care of me, even after the surgery. I feel like he handpicked who he wanted to have, you know, help take care of me, to bring me to the point that I'm at now. And I just want to tell every woman, don't be afraid. Stay encouraged. If you have a diagnosis, just keep trusting in God and trusting in his healing. Because I, this is my thing that I say about chemotherapy. I know that chemotherapy is part of the process, but if it was really the chemo that healed everybody, that healed the breast cancer itself, everybody would be healed. But it's a component with God mixed in it. That's where the healing come from. Because he said all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. So I believe that I'm here today because of my doctors that God used and him. Just want everybody to stay encouraged and make sure that you have your routine mammograms every year as scheduled. I would also say to the, the women who have gone through breast cancer and survived it, just to encourage others that are going through now and being an encouragement because I shared my story with a few women, you know, and First, they were scared. They were very scared that they wouldn't going to make it or, you know. But when I told my story and the way I look today, I mean, it's absolutely a miracle because I should have been gone because my breast cancer went, it got into my lymph nodes. So I would say, you know, just encourage somebody else about your journey. Talk to other women and help them along their journey.